hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to grace's team um how you guys doing what's popping guys um uh, today we're going to more or less uh, talk about a video i saw on youtube a video that diner equipment made i don't know if you guys know her but i watch her a lot i really like her channel and i really support her because i mean she's such an honest person and she's a beautiful soul so she made a video um I don't know she shot me a video that nigerians stop giving birth to your children abroad and then she highlighted the reasons why like nigerians give birth to their children abroad the countries that many talking about in this video is actually us and canada the uk you don't do citizenship by birth and i think yeah in some of all these european countries it's not citizenship by birth but us and canada is citizenship by birth so she mainly talked about two things that is because of citizenship and because of lack of health care in nigeria and also um she mainly buttressed on the healthcare system in nigeria but me in this video i'm going to talk about the first part which is the citizenship i may i'll mainly buttress on the citizenship part because i mean like she talked about it but she didn't go deep into it and then i'm going to go deep into it in this video so that i mean like we we'll all talk about this whole giving birth abroad the thing together and why like a lot of nigerians actually save up so much money to give birth to their children abroad so the first thing diana said is securing the bag which is more or less like citizenship i know and i'll explain to you guys why citizenship or dual citizenship especially a more developed country is really important it's where in this part of the world this country called nigeria that we don't know where we're heading to in the next 20 years vision 2020 you can see vision 2020 that we used to say in like 2010 we are 2020 now nothing has happened so everything is even worse than it was and also we don't know where we are going to. so it's really important first of all it's really important if you have the resources so don't go and kill yourself don't go and steal money don't go and do anything but if you have the resources i personally if i have the resources I would like to give birth to my child abroad and here are the reasons why i would like to give birth to my child abroad the first one is obviously citizenship if your child is a citizen of another country first of all you save yourself the stress of having to go to an embassy every single time you want you your child to travel you save yourself the stress of get, uh, going to the embassy let's say your child is a citizen of the u.s or the citizen, a citizen of canada with those two passports i mean you can enter almost any country in the world and everything so it is really important do you know how much like a lot of nigerians spend so much money at embassies especially in the u.s embassy that they keep denying people and like it's not like they don't even have the money but if it's something they knew like how much will it cost them let's say one to two let's, let's just say two million and everything two million naira just to give back to their child abroad and in the long run the long run it saves them the stress of going to the embassy for their child's visa having to get denied and paying back because i know like right now just getting and um, paying for a u.s visa is almost a hundred thousand or about ninety to a hundred thousand yes at least this is what someone told me someone i really trust told me that he paid like ninety thousand for his u.s visa and everything so yeah so the main thing is for citizenship i mean like you would not your child your child would not be harassed because you see that our green passport i'm not gonna lie to you you can face unnecessary harassment in the airport in all these international airports plus the fact that you're black and everything is just just makes everything a mess no it doesn't make everything a mess obviously but it's just you can save yourself the stress once you have the money so that's the first thing number two is the citizenship is like the main thing but the second reason for the citizenship is because let's say you have the money now to give birth to your child abroad and hopefully your resources increase increase yeah and everything so um you probably want your child to school abroad because obviously they have better facilities better hostels and with their degree i mean they can work in almost anywhere in the world without having to go back to school so with that citizenship your child can 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 pay for or it will save you the stress or the financial burden of paying so much money for your child as an international student because let's say your child your your child was born in texas and your child is going to texas state university and everything like that you wouldn't pay so much money because your child is a citizen other than like 
a Nigerian or an international student who will pay a lot of money. Now, let me just give you an example. Let's say in Texas State University for the citizens, people from Texas, yeah, I don't know if there's any university like Texas State University, I'm just saying no. But let's just say <laughs> in Texas State University, um, for the people in Texas, yeah, you like for the citizens from Texas, they pay like eight to nine thousand, eight to ten thousand dollars, and everything. But you, who is an international student coming from America, um, coming from Nigeria or Asia or any part of the world, you probably pay like thirteen to fifteen, thirteen. Let's just say thirteen thousand dollars and above, which is a lot of money. I can remember when I was in secondary school, and everything. I had some of my friends who are citizens of America and. They were already, you know, planning to go to their state universities because that's like it did not cost them so much money to go to those state universities because that's where they are from. Other than some of my classmates who were paid like seven million naira for tuition and everything. So it's really important, like in the long run, it saves you the stress of, you know, all this tuition, all these travels. You can see, like, you don't have to pay money for embassy, like for visa anymore. You wouldn't even pay so much for tuition, whether in state or like outside the state, compared to um, a not citizen, like an international student. Number three reason why, like, parents really struggle or really strive to have their children abroad is because of the future you know so that let's say your child wants to migrate or you don't you don't because as we said you don't know where this country is headed to and all so your child you want your child to mig migrate to america it's so easy for your child to migrate to america you know you, you wouldn't even have to it's not even a problem you don't have to start thinking of green card you will not start thinking of citizenship again when the person is older it's just like a ticket a flight ticket from Nigeria to the US and everything again and, and some cash to migrate. So migration is way easier and then it opens the way, the door for you, let's say when you get older and everything like that. So as your child is already a citizen, when your child goes there, you know, and everything and settles down, you would obviously want your child to make papers for you, like help you to become a citizen because when you get older, in all these developed countries, they pay their retired citizens and it's not like Nigeria that every day you be seeing uh, all these pensioners fighting for their pension like your money comes at, as a when you and everything like that also um, why people um, pay for citizenship or oh, sorry travel abroad to have their babies for citizenship obviously is if let's say eventually they want to move to another country is easier because when you move to that country when the child is less than 18 then the child is most likely entitled to like some certain types of benefits so if you want if you guys move to another country obviously in your child will be any like some amount of money as a child you know their child care is really important to them they take care of citizens who are children yeah they pay them some money so when you see all these benefits you'll be looking at your country like okay you might say okay in, in nigeria to give it about depends on the hospital you go to actually but it's about 100 to 200 k let's just stay in an expensive place some places are cheaper obviously but okay you give birth to your child and everything in nigeria you just see that like that in the long run it doesn't really pay you especially when you have the money like you can have the money and go to all these big hospitals and then they'll still charge you so much so why would is it not better for you just to go abroad and have your child once you get that visa do you get what i'm trying to say so that's what a lot of nigerians put Generally, you see a lot of nigerian celebrities that's what they do they put two and two together save up their money you know and travel abroad to have their picking because as you see this country is only god that will save us from what is happening because i don't even know where we're going to again in this country whether we are going forward or are going backwards and it's just that everybody wants to expose their children to better opportunities that they that they had so that is why like nigerians obviously save up a lot of money to you know go abroad then let me just talk a little about the healthcare system the healthcare system in nigeria is trash because i know like i'm going to say it's trash i won't even say they're trying apart from like private hospitals which are like overly expensive and everything and as diana said like 
those these private hospitals like how many nigerians can afford it now most of my family friends or my aunties or somebody i know that knows somebody once if i once i just hear their labor gist their delivery gist it just gives me like a lot of trauma because sometimes these nigerian nurses are so mean like they'll see you're going through so much pain and they're like ah your cervix never dilates or something i beg go and sit down or oh, walk upstairs to downstairs they're so mean and everything and if you have the money and you 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 have the money to go to another place even in those private hospitals some of those nurses are mean in the public hospitals too some of the nurses are, are mean i know if you have the money why can't you just go to like a, a, a place where you know you have your baby in peace they will be treating you like an egg not be treating you like they've seen 1000 deliveries in a day so your pregnancy does not even you know add anything or remove anything from them and everything so yeah the healthcare system in this country is really bad um when you compare it with what they get abroad and everything you just be like see let me just give birth to my child abroad once i have once you have the money let me just you know give birth to my child abroad and everything you see this nigeria it's only god that will save us to be honest because i don't even know like there's no sector in this country that is working whether it's the education the health the not see the the most manageable is the like the telecommunications which is still not manageable but the most manageable and everything so that is just it actually yeah like i'll advise anybody if you have the money see you gotta give us your picking abroad because we don't there's we, it's only god that can save this country like corruption is deeply rooted not only in the government but even in the citizens too because it's the citizens that control the parasitals of the government and everywhere is corrupt in this country and you can only just seek safeguard your child and seek, um, secure the back for yourself for the future you know and yeah i didn't say this at the beginning but if you are here please subscribe to my channel and this dress i'm going to wear it again to do another video yeah so you'll get to see this whole out and uh, this whole outfit twice so don't come and say i am um, don't come and say that this one is wearing one outfit two times it's on the same day and i'm not going to change my outfit anywho please subscribe to my channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you also have any other reason why or even any other reason why nigerians actually someone to go abroad to have their children please say in the comment section and everything and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys stay safe bye